Drinking fountains at Homer Plessy Community School in New Orleans are covered in plastic to keep students from drinking the water. This comes after tests turned up traces of lead in the water at the school. I was like, it would be cool to test the water because it's an old building. That's right, seventh grader Bear Voss Potts conducted the test with an off the shelf test kit at that. Plus, he moved into the McDonough 15 school building in the French Quarter two years ago. It was built in 1932. Bear tested the water as part of a student NPR podcast challenge. What did you learn? That there might be a dangerous amount of lead in the water. John Voss said he's proud of his son and hopes other students follow his lead. So hopefully we'll see middle schoolers and high schoolers doing these tests around the entire district. Let's see what's out there. Bear's project had the backing of his principal, Megan Ray Chowdhury. The test that was conducted was not scientifically conclusive or in line with scientific guidelines, but that it did show the possible contamination of lead and or pesticides and recommended additional testing. Out of an abundance of caution, the Orleans Parish School District is taking quick action. Given the lead test results, there are now plans to install water filters here at Plessy. Until that happens, the water fountains here will remain offline. There's a mural at the top of the steps at Plessy that says our positive energy empowers us to be the change we wish to see in the world. Bear has already inspired change with his lead test. Did you get an A on this project? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you, see you deserve an A on this yeah. project? <laughs> Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. A short time ago, we got a statement from Orleans Parish. They said, quote, due to low water pressure in the building, we're unable to install water filtration systems this morning as planned at Plessy School. However, OPSB delivered more than 2,000 water bottles at the school today and will continue to make sure students have access to drinkable water as we work to install those water filtration systems as a precaution. As for Bear Voss Potts, he told us he'd like to be a scientist one day.